In this video, we want to take a look at a way to manage our network using a graphical and a programming interface. It's called Cisco DNA Center. And uh, Cisco DNA Center is an appliance that we can install in our network, or there's an option for having DNA in the cloud. But this is going to give us a graphical interface and a programming interface to design our network, to add devices, configure devices on the network, monitor, troubleshoot our network. And I know Cisco in the past has had other graphical front ends to router configuration, such as uh, Cisco Configuration Professional, but this is just way beyond that in the scope of what it can do. Let's take a look specifically at some of the main areas that Cisco DNA Center focuses on. First up, there's design. With design, we can take a map of the world and we can add an area. And we could say within that area, we've got this building or there's another area within an area. We can put a floor on a building. We can import a floor plan and we can drag and drop devices onto that floor plan. We can say what our IP address allocation is. This is a way for us to design our network through this graphical interface. In addition to that, Cisco DNA Center can apply policy. We can assign policies to an entire group, maybe allowing or denying them access to something. We could do IP-based access control. And one of my favorites is quality of service. We can set up a queuing profile to say what bandwidth amounts are given to different applications. We can also do provisioning with Cisco DNA Center. Here we can essentially do plug and play for our devices. We can have a new network device sent to whatever location where it's gonna be installed, have somebody there plug it in, and when the device boots up, it's gonna go out and get some IP address information from DHCP, including some DNS server information, and it's gonna resolve the IP address of a DNA Center server, and it's gonna go up to that server, and based on its serial number, it's gonna be able to download a configuration file. So we pretty much had zero touch on getting that thing installed. We just set up the profile of that device within DNA Center, had somebody plug it in, and it installed itself. Another big part of Cisco DNA Center is assurance. And this is where we can monitor the health of the network. This is going to help us with troubleshooting. If there are existing faults, we can see what those are. And based on experience of Cisco TAC, Cisco DNA Center is going to give us feedback about what we should do to try to resolve this issue. And it's got a path trace tool in it. So if we're not getting from point A in the network to point B in the network, we can say, what if I tried to do a ping? Or what if I tried to do a, a telnet session between these two devices? What would happen? Let's say there's an access control list in the way that might be blocking that traffic. Well, it's going to give us a graphical representation of the network and show us exactly where that ACL lives that's blocking our traffic. We can also do something called network time travel. So if there were some sort of an issue that came up at 2 a.m. last night, we could go back in time and see what was going on in the network at that time. And one of the most powerful things about Cisco DNA Center is its ability to act as a programming platform. We have a large collection of APIs, application programming interfaces, that will allow us to do via a program what we could do graphically. If we want to provision or set a policy or gather troubleshooting information, we could do that with a Python script, for example, using some of these APIs. And obviously, Cisco DNA Center is very, very robust, and there are weeks worth of training you could take just on DNA Center. But just to give you a sense for what's possible, let's go out to Live Interface and look through some of the menus. Oh, by the way, as a comparison, you may have heard of ACI, Application-Centric Infrastructure. That's Cisco's management platform for data centers. Well, think of DNA Center as Cisco's platform for managing enterprise networks. Again, think ACI for the data center and think DNA center for the enterprise. Now, let's take a look at DNA center. We'll go ahead and get logged in. And here we see those things we were talking about a moment ago, design, policy, provision, assurance platform. And those are our menu options up at the top as well. For example, I could go under design and we could pick an area of the world, maybe under US, for example. I could go in and I could add an area, perhaps I'd add an area for Kentucky where I'm located. We'll add that. Then I can add an area under Kentucky. And we could say that's Richmond. And within Richmond, I could say I want to add a building. So we'll say we've got 
the headquarters of Kevin Wallace Training, KWT. And it wants me to put in a specific longitude and latitude here. So I'll just guess at what that is. And I could import a floor plan. And I could also set up policy. I could set up IP-based access control for my access control lists. One of my favorite things, though, is under application, I could do a queuing profile. I could say I want to add a profile. And for different applications, I could say, how much bandwidth do I want to give those different applications? Under provisioning, I could go in and set up a device to be installed to the network using that plug and play operation like we talked about earlier. I could say I want to add a device. Under assurance, this is where we can do our troubleshooting. This is where we can monitor the health of the network. And if there are outstanding issues, we could see those issues and get some suggestions for what we should do to fix those issues. And we could go back in time using that network time travel to see what was happening in the past. And under platform, this is where we can do some of our development. If you go under developer toolkit, check out all these APIs that we have. Let's say under know your network, we could have an API to go out and get a list of devices on the network. Under site management, we could set up plug and play under operational tools. We could do the path trace that we were talking about. And obviously, this is a super high level 30,000 foot view of Cisco DNA Center. But the purpose of this video was just to help you understand what DNA Center is. It's Cisco's management solution for the enterprise and to understand some of the things it can do. And those things fall under these categories, design, policy, provision, assurance, and platform.